it's obvious I've been up since 5 a.m. You can't really tell. I mean, I look lovely. But it's only 8.40. We haven't even gone to the bus yet. And I'm already on treadmill. So, kitchen's clean, dishes done, floors are swept. I have all the kids home. Kaylee's a PT. Ashley, you ready to go? And I'm watching Grace Baking, British Baking Show. Doing pretty good this morning. But I'm definitely gonna probably want a nap after my shower today. I don't have anything else to do. Let's go to the bus stop. It is three hours later, three and a half hours later, it's noon. I started at 8.30. Yeah, three and a half hours. Um, two stops for the bathroom, and I stopped to get more water. It's frustrating, because I don't think my phone is picking up steps on here when I have it in my pocket, and my watch, and my hand is typing, which I was doing a lot of that video. There's nothing miraculously special about it except the fact it freaking took so much editing to get it processed and uh buddy it's a 45 minute video and I cut it down to 26 minutes it takes a lot of work you guys because I know you guys want to cut to the chase just as much as I do so it's already noon Ashley's gonna be home from school in two hours She's having two girls come over for a play date, two girls from her cheer squad. And then I'm taking them to their tumbling and then their cheer tonight. <sighs> Literally I have two hours. <sighs> and I'm behind on videos because I don't have anything to do. Anyway, so I'm kind of frustrated. But I got that video edited. I have done 7,000 steps. It feels like more than 7,000. But, um, whatever. I'm gonna go shower. <sighs> I was talking to Lydia the other day. Lydia, hi. From when we met her and her husband in Maui last year. Seems so weird, weird that that was last year. I was chatting with her, texting her yesterday, and uh, saying that I had felt guilty about not getting on the treadmill right when I woke up the day before. and. I guess it was the day before I was texting her and that I hadn't gotten on the treadmill and I was frustrated and she's like, dude, I don't even have to, <laughs> you know, it's hard to have like motivation in general, like let alone having it every single day. So I, you know, I didn't yesterday. It didn't work out yesterday. Do I need my phone? I don't need my phone. Oh my gosh, I can barely walk up the stairs. But anyway, it's hard to have the motivation. And I guess my motivation today was that I can just be done. If I stayed on, I'm a little lightheaded because I haven't eaten yet. If I stayed on, I could just be done with it. Shower and be done with it for the rest of the day. Otherwise, I'd feel like I need to get back on. Um, but it's hard, especially because right now I'm starving and I'm lightheaded. But I gotta shower first. So, I may not look better, but I feel better. <laughs> and yes, I do the same hair when I know I'm going to work out the next day, which is hopefully five days a week. But do you know what I have kind of come to the conclusion? I just put my new shoes on. I'm ready to go out. I'm gonna go get myself a Cafe Rio salad because I have a free $20 credit at, at this point. So I, my salad will be completely free and I'll still have a credit left on there. But um, I hate shoes. <laughs> I literally hate having socks on my feet right now. I hate having shoes on. I'm only wearing them right now because it's probably 35 degrees outside and my feet are gonna be cold. And yes, my coat is in the car too. I'm wearing short sleeves because I'm hot right now. But I don't like shoes. I just like flip-flops. We all know why I like flip-flops. But I just have sensitive feet, I think. I just don't like, I don't like socks and shoes. I think that's part of my problem with finding the right shoe is that I don't like shoes. <laughs> I need to live in Hawaii, people. Let's pick this channel up so I can buy a place there and go when I want. Also. Side note, I'm texting Jason right now um, because we need to take his car down to go and get the tires looked at. And <laughs> I, everyone has been on him for over a week. It's been like two weeks to tell, 
trying to get him to take this car in or have him fill up the tires. Let me just show you. Let me just show you. Kaylee couldn't go in his car this morning and then just drive her and her friend and Abby to school today because, let me show you. Well, you can't really see, but this tire is going flat. I guarantee if he turned on this car, this is his problem. He's abandoned her. It's a her now. He's abandoned her. And I don't know what tire it was. I think it's that front one, but it might be the other side. Nope, there's the culprit. Flat tire, right there. <laughs> and they wear flat tires. I think that's what they're called. So if we can actually drive this down to the dealership um, and have them fix it, but he hasn't done it in like two weeks. So Kaylee hasn't had access to this car. So I've had to share my car, but heaven forbid he has to share his car. <laughs> So poor little Betty has been left abandoned and she has a flat tire now. So one of these days we're gonna get a notice cause it now looks like an abandoned car. You know, cause that's how our HOA works. But if we move it, then they don't think about it. You know what I mean? I'm walking quickly because there's cars and I don't wanna see me filming. Also, my neighbor is getting new hardwood floors and I'm so jealous. Like my next door neighbor is, I sit and I listen to him cutting wood and cutting wood and cutting wood. And I want new hardwood floors so bad. I went down there to get the mail and I didn't even get it. <laughs> and now I'm winded and I wanna go and get a salad. Oh well, so maybe tonight, Jason can take his abandoned car and meet me down at the dealer, not the dealership, the tire place and we can go and get that car fixed up so that Kaylee can take it more. This morning, she took my car to go to PT, which was fine, except she woke me up. I was already awake, I woke up at five. We already established that. But she texted me, or called me, and she's like, aren't you taking me to PT today? And I was like, uh, no, do I need to? And she's like, remember how dad's tire's flat? And I thought she was going to take the car and then go to school. I forgot it was Wednesday, she has late start, and she had a ride. And so, anyway, I got up, and that's why I was up and going a lot earlier today, but I was like, this is so frustrating that you can't just take his car. But also, in order to like drive the car, she put my purse in the car, because everyone's just used to having the keys in my purse, and then she drove to the PT place and left my purse in the car. Luckily, she took the keys out, and lock the car, but just left the purse sitting on the front seat. <laughs> I was like, you don't do that here. That window will be, I mean, it's not, it's a safe place. Obviously it was fine, it didn't get stolen, but I was like, I need her to have a car back. It's not mine, so I don't have to worry about like shared custody. <laughs> also, something that's kind of cute, uh, one of the friends that's coming over tonight, their mom is texting me, because um, we need to feed them dinner before we take them down to tumbling. Sorry, the lighting is absolutely horrible. It's beautiful. It's an absolutely beautiful day. It is, well, it says it's 49, but I don't think that's adjusted for my garage. Anyway, the mom is like, I'm gonna pack her a little dinner and some frozen chicken nuggets. Can you make that for her? And anyway, the girls are all excited to have a little play date because they've never been able to before. The only day that they had free was days that they had um, cheerleading and so, our days to play together were days that they had cheerleading and so they never got to like hang out at someone's house but I guess these two girls have they each have their, a brother and that's the only sibling they have <laughs> so they're absolutely fascinated by the fact that Ashley has three sisters I'm like are your sisters gonna be home t tonight are they gonna be there like can I meet them like I've never hung out with so many girls before <laughs> I'm like you know you just came off of a cheer squad but I just think that they're so fascinated the fact that Ashley has three sisters and they see Chelsea often when they do their little um, Zoom calls or their FaceTime calls and then they play Minecraft games together. But um, anyway, it's cute because the mom's like, yeah, she's really excited to like be around your girls. <laughs> I just think it's cute. Um, my girls probably don't say the same thing about being around boys, which is interesting and I'm glad that I'm a, a girl mom because I, I think I might agree. But I think it'll be interesting if they all have boys <laughs> themselves when they have kids to see if um, what that's like because we just don't know what it's like to have boys around. I mean Jason, but you know. Also, yesterday's video, Jason went hiking um, and I literally ran out of 
space to add the footage of his hike. Like I said, I had a 45 minute video. I cut it down to 26 minutes. I had zero space to be able to put his hike in that video and I feel bad because when he takes the time to film and talk and show you guys what he does, which I think is fascinating and maybe one day I'll be in enough shape that I can go out with him. I don't know if I will because I don't like that kind of hiking anyway, but um, Anyway, I will insert that right here while I go get my salad and then we'll catch up with you after that because I just couldn't fit it in yesterday's video and I don't want to leave it out. Gotta get Jason in when we can because we all like him so much. Almost there. Just up there. It's like something out of Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Used to have trees. Used to be surrounded by trees. It's getting deep. Wow. Oh, it's beautiful. This is why I enjoy the mountains. This is just up from where we live. You can actually see over there where the neighborhood's at and stuff. <coughs> but it's quiet, beautiful. Nature. A little boo with me. My salad was really good. I don't know why it's so pink in here. Are you excited? Yeah. I'm more excited, Mommy. They're very excited? Yeah. What are they most excited about? To see you or see your sisters? Sisters. They know that they're not going to be here till four, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> Just want to make think, sure. I think Chelsea and Sadie. I think, I don't, I only think one knows. That, yeah. But the other one thinks that she's cool. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have sisters, so they don't know. No. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> you can't see them out there. I did get a approval from one of the moms. Oh, you're yelling. No. I'm going to shut the door. Yeah. <laughs> one of the moms was like, she found out you had a YouTube channel. And um, she's like, what? Let me check it out. And she's like, yeah, she found a video about marriage. And I was like, yeah, maybe maybe the adult ones are <laughs> not for you. Anyway, it's all good. And she's like, yeah, sometimes she watches that kind of stuff. And she thinks it's interesting. And I don't care. Anyway, it's just kind of funny when people find my channel that I know it doesn't happen very often. So anyway, the girls are nonstop giggles and it has been so much fun. They've been here for about an hour and a half. I had to go get one of them and bring her back here. And um, the other one just got dropped off and me and the mom were talking for an hour and then I did um, therapy, plus <laughs> the therapy screen right there. And um, I'll talk about that another time. We're coming up with a plan for Ashley at school. Um, with her counselor and trying to set up a 504, if you know what that is, um, and create a better safe environment for her to be in in case she has anxiety. But things like this are really helping her. Having friends and having structured things to do are really, really helping her because she gets, she has the hardest time when she's bored um, and then doing things that are different and new. So um, anyway, uh, I was gonna say something and now I can't remember. We have like Kaylee's here with her boyfriend and the, all these girls are here. So it's a full house here right now. Um, but <laughs> it's super, she's like, the one of the moms is like, are you sure you're okay with having them all here? And I'm like, it's fine. I'm used to having like a dozen teenagers here and that's fine too. They just usually hang out, out upstairs. Um, but we have about a half hour 
until I need to feed them all. Um, and the two girls just brought food. Um, so I'm gonna like hide out in here. <laughs> Got my water and um, I'm just gonna hide out in here and work on the computer and watch The Crown. That's what I was watching before the therapy call um, and get caught up on season five. <laughs> Done my steps. I think I'm coming up on four miles, just like walking around the house and running errands and stuff. <sighs> um, I feel like I was gonna tell you something else and now I can't remember, but it's fun to hear the giggles. It's fun to hear her happy. And she even popped onto, this is Ashley I'm talking about. Um, she even popped into the room twice to say hi to her therapist. And he was like, oh, you're really happy. It's not often that she actually does the therapy calls with her therapist. And maybe that's kind of weird, but I'm getting the therapy and we work it through her. So anyway, I feel like I'm missing something, but I'm not. It is what it is. Uh, I'm meeting Jason tonight to take said car down to get fixed. And then I'm going to go to the dollar store. So I will show you tonight if I find any goods. Um, I might, I'm, gonna, I'm definitely getting some the bottleneck trees and like the wooden trees that they have there. Um, make a bigger like woodland scene for Christmas. And then um, I'm just kind of see what Christmas things they have. But there was one other thing I was going to look for. Now I can't remember. Um, so I'll show you if I find anything good, but I'm, while I'm waiting for her to be done with cheer, I just kind of like to occupy the time and make it worth driving Claire over there because it's kind of on the other side of town. So don't want to waste gas. And Jason won't have his Tesla <laughs> when we meet up. He'll have his other car and he's like, oh, I won't be able to drive my Tesla. And I was like, no, we need to get your other car fixed so your daughter can take it. <laughs> he's so funny. He's pretty addicted to that car. Um, and yes, Heidi, he does like to clean it a lot and it's fine. As long as he cleans my car as often as he cleans his, I think it's a fantastic deal. Made it to the dollar store. This is what I want. We have a couple different kinds. Got two of those. Okay, made it to the dollar store and I picked up some of these little bottleneck trees in white or cream and then these ones and then I found these guys. I have two different styles with the same color. I've seen other different styles that I want to look for, but only found that so far. Also got this for Ashley. Instead of doing a Santa one, this one perfectly matches her pajama pants. Um, I think she even had them on today, but these would be cute for school. I feel bad she's going to have to miss school on the last day of school for Christmas break. So I'm kind of like making that go over better. And then I also got some of these charging plates. I'm trying to get a head count on who's coming for Thanksgiving dinner. Um, but I kind of want to have these ones and then just my paper plates on top of them. Hi, it's creepy me in the car again. <laughs> I can't get better than light, light than this. Is that better? No. I'm waiting for Ashley. I called Jason when I left the dollar store and I was like, hey, do you want to meet me? I can, you know, take the car down. And he was like, oh, I'm already doing it with Kaylee. I literally saved like 45 minutes instead of going all the way home in order to do that. And, but at that point, I only, ha I only had 45 minutes before she needed to be picked up. And so I was like, whatever, I'll just come back over here and sit here and wait. So that's what I'm doing. I'm sitting here by the window, trying not to be creepy mom, checking them out. But you know what? Ashley is in her little world right now. She absolutely loves this. She um, showed me that she learned how to do a back spring, just like a back bend, I guess, not a spring. And uh, she was showing me, and I was like, I don't think you should do this without the tumbling mats. Um, and she was like, I'm not tumbling, I'm just going backward. And of course she hit her head. She went back and hit her head. And I was like, and then she was embarrassed because she knew she should have done it with the mats. And then all of her friends were consoling her and she was embarrassed. <laughs> I felt so bad, but she's doing so good. I just, I actually enjoy sitting here watching because um, she never let me watch her during cheer. And right now I'm more inconspicuous sitting in my car, not with the light on now, but she doesn't see me and she's actually facing away from me. She's looking at the mirror and so she doesn't actually see me. And so she's more herself and more at ease. It's just so cute because she's just making friends with everyone. Like some of these people she's never met before. And it's day two. This is the second time she's come to do this. And she's already like 
giggling and laughing with everyone. I mean, she walked in, everyone's like, Ashley. <laughs> I'm like, how do you guys? Anyway, she just is making a ton of new friends. And they're already learning a cheer and routines. They just pull out the tumbling mats. And they're going to practice. Yep, she just did her little... What did she just do? Oh. Anyway, it's cute to watch her. I wish I could film her. Maybe I'll try and zoom in when she's on the mat. Because they do take turns getting some individual focused help with the coach. Um, so they kind of like everyone sits down on the sides of the mat and one person will go through and get some extra help. So I, if she does that, I'll try and sneak a little peek through the window. I've tried, written down the words to say it is time. I've been waiting five days to explain how you make me feel inside. Baby, got it all figured out. Wanna do this right There's a doubt in my mind Baby, you're the one And tonight I am going all the way Okay, we just got home, but I want to know what you have to say about not taking care of your other car. What do you mean not taking care of my other car? <laughs> it's been two weeks since you should have taken that car in to get the tire fixed. Other people wanting to drive it. Yeah, washing. they need to drive it. I've been washing and doing things to my other car. I, I know, you've been no, taking care wash. of your other baby. Other babies. There's always so much babies you can have. <laughs> but you took it down there with Kaylee? Yep. You got it taken care of. This girl needs to hurry and eat and then go to bed. You're going to shower? Correct? I really should try and avoid ending our day in this way every single night, but... Literally how our day ends every single night. So take care you guys. And um, I found out that one family is not coming for Thanksgiving. They're going to her, her family's house. It's Jason's brother. And um, to be blunt, I was worried about having Christmas set up because they were going to come for Thanksgiving. Because anyway, it's a whole thing. But now I don't care. So I'm setting up before Thanksgiving. <laughs> I'm not doing it tomorrow, I don't think. I'm gonna maybe have a day of rest. I probably will Friday. work out Friday. Here. Dad's here, so maybe dad'll help. I'm going, uh, I'm going hiking with Shane Friday. All day? Where are no, you gonna not go? All day, early morning. We haven't figured it out, but I'm going hiking, and then he wants to do another one Monday. Okay, but okay. So I'll be here. It's not all day. We're just gonna go up. Okay. Do something early in the morning, come back. So you can help me get bins down Friday. Sure, yeah, I can even help you put it up Friday. It's just not in the morning. Okay, fine. All right. This is good lighting. Not so good for you over there. Shh. <laughs> Take care. Have a good night, guys. Of all the magic places in the world I've been to, this is where my heart is. Oh, you know it's true. No matter where I go, I'm coming home to you.